I love those guys. They'll be like, I just can't get a lady. I mean, I'm like 50 pounds overweight and have a neck beard and smell bad and have bad fashion Why sense, but I just can't get a lady. It's the, it's really the smelling part that's bad, you know, like, yeah, you know, yeah. that's like the most off putting thing when you smell bad, you know? Because, I mean, a guy like that can get a lady. He just, you know, he's got to work on different areas, yeah. I suppose. And sometimes if you're we 50 to... pounds overweight, it's not your fault, too. We should, uh, we should, we should uh, save this for the podcast. No, we started right now. Hey guys, welcome to the oh. episode. Hello, <laughs> that, viewers. Um, that was the intro. I love just like cold, like no context <laughs> open. So that is in the episode, Noel. <laughs> uh, I'm just going. Like you can work out and you know lose weight, like the fifty pounds. You can get rid of that. Like that's not too like you know over you know overcomable and like you know the facial hair if you have bad bad facial hair you know shave it off you know like that's that's pretty much pretty much my suggestion to that the smelling part just shower dude where the <laughs> deodorant you know things like Bro, that like, i, I that gotta difficult. work on my natural oils <laughs> it's like no oh, yeah. <laughs> that was good. episode 18 guys no, welcome it's, back it's not 18 it's 19 now <laughs> Oh, for, oh yeah yeah that's now great. i'm actually keeping track <laughs> last time you were like yeah, I was on top of it last time, and I was like, oh, yeah. Uh, Recording ahead of time, that's what, that's what does it to you. <laughs> oh, we have to catch up. Well, I guess. <laughs> it's easier for you, because you have all the episodes and saved up and in the little folder. Mm-hmm. With us, it's like, uh, I guess I just have to remember. S- scheduled. There was a, There was a lady... That works with my mom, and she was talking about like, uh, she's like, I need to get a new pair of sunglasses. Gotta get a new pair. Like, I gotta get a pair that's in style. And mind you, she's like broke, right? She's like, I gotta get a new pair of sunglasses. And she's like, I gotta get a new pair of sunglasses so I can get myself a guy. And my mom was just like, I don't think that's what the guys are gonna be looking at when you, you know, yeah, like what the fuck? (laughs) Maybe she wants the sunglasses to cover up her, I don't know, crunky eyes or something. I never like. I never like looked at a girl and be like, "Oh yeah, those, those sunglasses. sunglasses are really fucking cool." Like you know. Well, like you want to like look there's nice, some and dress nice, but like there's the some glasses. aviators I think look cool, but like you know, glasses like sunglasses, it's not a... nah. Yeah, it's not gonna be like, "Are those Gucci like, sunglasses?" It's like who <laughs> cares? Like actual actual glasses, yeah. Those like you know those 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 I care about. You know, like if right. they look good enough, like but like yeah, like. Sunglasses are like yeah. sometimes they're just there to protect your eyes from <laughs> Like that's all I think about. I think like, that's when the I see them, like... that's the great irony of life is that yeah. like guys try and do things that women don't pay attention to at all, and girls do things that guys don't really pay attention to at all. Like that's kind of the the big dynamic. The guys be like, I gotta get this car, you know? Like I gotta <laughs> gotta have this, and it's like the guy with the they Camry don't... is is equally as valuable as the guy with the Camaro. You know, it's like. Yeah. <laughs> And then girls like you with the sunglasses, the hair. It's like sometimes hair matters, but like I generally don't care about like hair, like the nitty gritty of it. I guess. I mean, as like, long as you're uh, well groomed, I don't really, you know, yeah. As I don't long really as you care. don't look like you just came out from a homeless street. Well, somewhere. guys just care about like guys you are just like basic shape and dumpster. color. We're just like shape and color. That's all we care about. We don't care about like, oh, is it slightly curled this way? It's just like, bro, I don't no. care. Like, don't care. No, guys are we're we're very simple. Like when it comes to like things like this, we're just like, okay, we see something that's pretty good. <laughs> you know, like we don't really think too much about it. We're just like, okay, there was, oh my gosh, this might be bad, but um, uh huh. There's a comedian. I mean, that, I'm pretty it, sure all of us had like a stage when we experimented with different clothing styles and then realized that. Oh, what's dude, the point? I found a photo. <laughs> I found a photo of me like posing Wait, back when I was like 14, and it was bad. Like. <laughs> I can't, like, Dude, when I was gonna, when I, I was fifteen, when I was fifteen, I had a stage uh, phase where I really wanted to dye my hair, and I thought, oh, going for red would be really good. But what I didn't realize, because I was fifteen and I was dumb, I didn't know how hair dyes work. Um, oh, you didn't bleach I bought, it? Like, well, I didn't bleach it. Number one, number two, I bought like just regular red uh, hair dye, and number three, my hair is like really really dark. So when I painted it, dyed it. Uh, rather than it being red, it turned out orange, so I looked like a ginger kid. Oh my gosh. And, and the worst thing, the worst thing, I was growing a mustache at the time. And I don't know if it's with every single person, but for whatever it is with me, when sun shines on my, on my mustache, 
like it's usually brown, but when sun shines on it, it's like it's red ginger as well. So I look like a complete ginger kid. So people just took the piss out of me for like a good couple of weeks because, oh my, <laughs> yeah, gosh. I was I was just a ginger guy for for a two weeks and hello oh, my lesson. <laughs> I don't know. Holy shit. I you saw, know you're dumb when you're young. You don't know how chemicals work. And, I saw yeah. uh, I well two things. I used to know a girl that she would dye the end of her hair with Kool Aid, and it kind of worked because you know Kool Aid's got that strong yeah. dye, and that actually it worked. It wasn't yeah. like as good as real dye. But also, I saw a post on Twitter. I thought this was funny, where it was like ginger guys and girls. It was like a ginger girl. Wow, Scottish queen, amazing, beautiful ginger guy, soulless piece of garbage. Like this. <laughs> pretty like, much, dude. I can like, confirm when I see a ginger trash. guy on the street. The first thing that comes through my head is like he has no soul because the meme is just stuck in my head. But ginger woman, <laughs> queen. Yeah, it's like queen. Like brave yeah, from, yeah. and brave for. Brave from Braveheart. What? Wait. No, what? Oh my god, I am so confused right now. What was the name of that Disney film? Yeah, it's Brave. It's Pic- it is Brave. Yeah. Also, it's just Brave. Fuck me. I don't know her name. <laughs> brave? No, it? her name's not Brave. Brave not... from Brave. Dude, I'm gonna Google that. It's gonna bother me brave. for the rest of the stream. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, brave. But what I was gonna Correct. say before, while you find that, what I was gonna say before, there was a comedian. Merida. Who, that's her name. He ended up uh, passing away like mm-hmm. 2010, but he had a joke where it was he was like women will be like i'm dedicated to my man you know like i'll never cheat on him like denzel comes up to me i don't care i'm dedicated to my man he's like guys will be like i want the best woman ever but he's like that girl passed up behind the dumpster <laughs> it's just like like risk it all for like just hoes you know Jesus. like tiger woods you know he had like that swedish supermodel wife and he's like oh these random hoes risk it all it's like that's just how it is. Yeah. For some guys, at least. Relatable. <laughs> I don't know if it's related. Is it relatable to you, Noble, or is that sarcasm? That's sarcasm. I was going to say, I was like, <laughs> ugh. <laughs> you probably made some questionable life choices, but that's relatable to you. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh... Ooh. Halo Infinite News. Got some new screenshots to look at. The sniper rifle looks pretty darn cool. Looks pretty similar oh, to yeah. the C sniper. The C and yeah, the looks like one the Halo 5 one, but like thick. <laughs> a little bit more. Someone made like a post say. where they just put like all the sniper rifles like from all the Halos. And the Halo 4 one, I don't know what I they know, it's thought the when they made. It's <laughs> so weird when you compare it to all the other ones. Like every other sniper from every other Halo is so nice and clean. Looks pretty much the same. And then it's just Halo 4. It's like the black sheep and the family of white sheep just. Yeah, random. it's a little odd. <laughs> like, when I saw, like, because the Halo 5 one still has a pretty big like, scope on it, but not as big as, you know, Halo 4. Um, and people just, made a joke just weird. when the Halo 4 beta came out, people were calling the sniper rifle a tank for whatever reason. It's like, because <laughs> it looked like a tank. <laughs> How big the scope was. I don't know, it was a meme at a, at a time. I always strange. heard it was like binoculars. They're just like, let's strap it on the gun. Yeah. And the actual, so we also saw like the day and night cycle in the campaign. So that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. Gonna be see. So there's a question I really wanted to ask. Well, not that we're gonna answer, just gonna discuss. So, like, w- will the campaign be just random at all times? So when you start at a different time, like, the whole atmosphere will be different or something? Um, I think so, yeah. I think, it'll I think it's mi- going to be like night and day cycles. Yeah. I think it might be like for certain set piece moments, like if there's these really like scripted cutscenes, there might be like, yeah. you know how like in Red Dead or GTA, it'll do like a quick time lapse. It'll go like, whoosh, whoosh, mm. and then it'll like start mm-hmm. the mission. It might do something like that. I mean, it's just. I mean, it definitely unless they're all like in game, trailers. unless they're all in game cutscenes, then I guess it wouldn't matter. Mm. Or maybe all the cutscenes would be like dependent on the time that you play it so they'll be different so the cutscene might be er- yeah i think everything is like rendered in real time so yeah i have a feeling it's gonna be like um you're gonna have like what is it <laughs> they're gonna be like different like time cycles for different people but i could see it also being like scripted like yeti says like for certain things you know also like... actually a screenshot that we saw was it valhalla that we were looking at no that was just a random thing that was just like, it, a random like the structure looked like the bases from Valhalla, like the red and blue base. It looked more like the uh, from the first mission, like uh, Halo, 
from CE. The cartographer. Like, yeah. like the the initial building that you go to in CE. That's what it looked mm. like to me. Because they also said that they wanted to go back to like the old roots of you exploring. So yeah. that'd be really nice. I'm really glad they didn't cave though, and they still are doing their circular forerunner. Because like some of it looks like ass, but um, <laughs> the one that they showed in the screenshot looked really cool. So I'm glad they're mm. not like just going all the way back to. Um, they're not just like, oh, we gotta just copy what Bungie Bungie put. <laughs> so they're still yeah, I don't real, you know, I don't think that's the way either. Just like copy what Bungie did, like try to recapture that. Like that's not really a, the way forward, you know. They gotta do their own thing. Yeah, I think it looks really good. I'm really like proud. I guess like I don't hate to be like I'm proud of them, but it seems like with this game they really just like kind of came into their own. Because like I said, I played Halo, going for I played it. Halo just... Four and like finished it. <laughs> And that game is like, I think the Halo 4 campaign is really good. It's a little odd at first yeah. when you're like, Chief is talking. Because like, he only says like five lines in every game. Like He almost says nothing. Um, <laughs> but near the end there, it's like really nice and that he has a personality. So it makes me actually want to play a Halo 5 campaign, surprisingly. Like just to have that continuation. Yeah. Um, but like... As long as they don't pull what they did in Halo 5 where you play half the... Mi well, not even half the missions. Majority of the missions are some spot in the game. No, 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 no. Like, no. I think they learned from that mistake. And but I think now that they've given just, them enough Like, they're, they're adding enough of, like, their flair to it. Like, they finally have, like, their style and, like, how they want to... They want to do it, I think. And it's... Um, they're just it's, I'm happy to see it. And I'm glad they decided to postpone it because, like, God. I don't know Do you think Hosey or the Arbiter will be back? <laughs> In the campaign, uh, probably not uh, Arbiter, but Halsey maybe. No, I think the Arbiter is actually going to be back. Really? Uh, there have been like, yeah, the uh, the voice actor has been like, you know, tweeting on Twitter, like people have been asking, "Are you going to be back?" And he's like, "I cannot uh, confirm or deny this," you know. Well, but, like, you know, mm -hmm. that's just him like teasing, like you know. Well, like, I have a feeling, you know. Well, sometimes like they just can't say because like, yeah, they just don't want to, because when people basically like in that situation when someone says like. It's either or yes is the not, only answer. Yeah. Yes is the only answer to them. You know, like I'm not saying like you're doing it, but like it's like oh I can't say. It's like that must mean yes. It's like I don't. I just <laughs> I just think sometimes they just preemptively will just say just don't say. But yeah, I mean I'd like to. to just block the guy that asked the question. No more questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's too much pressure. I mean I think it'd be cool to see him, but I mean I thought like his arc was kind of over. In Halo Five, because he took back, they took back Saint Helios, and he's like the be like the head honcho the there. Infinity War, just start a farm, have children. Just... War just... is over, guys. I, I, just like, I don't think he's like arc is over though. Like you know, I feel like he still has more like you know to show with the so. whole like you know Cortana being like, oh, we're gonna dominate everyone. Like, how is this Saint Helios gonna like react to this? Like, especially yeah. being like, I guess controlled once again you know by a different thing yeah. you know before it was the fucking prophets now it's katana like you know it'd be kind of interesting to see like how they react to it but... i'm also curious how much like it's connected to the current um story because right now it's like halo wars 2 focused pretty much like that's what it looks like to me like it's a continuation of yeah. H2, uh, oh you know what would be really cool if they if like master chief and the blue team meet the spartans from S halo wars as well that'd be really like cool Red like all the spartan twos yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd yeah. Be awesome. I don't even know if blue team. I don't think blue team will be in infinite. I think they just kind of like. They're just I mean, they're still hush, on top of an infinity. Characters. They were all there at the end of Halo Five, weren't they? Next to Halsey, like Master Chief. Yeah, yeah, but that doesn't there. really mean anything. I don't know. I just. Um, I mean, it would be very weird goodness. for infinite to like, crash. And... I, feel like I feel like we're gonna have a glimpse of them, but like they're not gonna be like a, you know, a constant presence. You know. It just this game looks like, like Chief is stranded like from everybody, so like I don't know how many characters are even going to show up. That's kind of my deal. It's just like one of those things where I really like the scenarios where like the Spartans meet after years, because I mean they were all like family back in the day when they were three, yeah. four years old, or weren't they six? Were Spartans six or were they younger? They were six. They were six. So I think it was Spartan uh, threes. Goes with the whole like Greek that tradition, younger. you know being trained at six years old oh is it's that what that like, or roman or is yeah. it greek greek i was like that's weird that they're called spartans and they're greek i was like is, aren't spartans roman no what Spart romans were our italians basically 
But I was saying, isn't like the OG Spartans? I thought those were Romans. But there, I no, know there was no, Sparta. No. That was like the opposite of uh, Athens, Sparta. Right? Spart- Spartans are Sparta. Like oh, those, okay. those are like yeah, okay. those are the same. Just gonna have some random person in the comment section. Actually, actually, <laughs> I'm a history major. It's like, oh. <laughs> did you know? Like in Sparta, it was actually illegal to be overweight. <laughs> you could get, you could get, you Fuck. would get um, publicly shamed. Um, your citizenship could be revoked, what? or you could be executed oh for being God. overweight. Overweight. Yeah, it's well, actually pretty funny to I be executed. Like, imagine you're beheaded, and like after you're beheaded, the body weight just goes down. So now you're no longer overweight. <laughs> overweight. Yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> like, wait, no, he he checks out. <laughs> oh shit! How do we, we need to go so back? So massive, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think what that's interesting too, because I'm not sure like what religious thing that they. I mean, I don't think it was. It was probably like some origin of like Catholic or Christianity. Like, I guess was that what Sparta was like. No, no, no. The Sparta was uh, uh, Greek. Uh, it was mythology. mythology. Well, like, I, well, does mythology yeah. have like the same like like deadly sins as Christianity? Because you know it's like gluttony no, uh, and stuff. It was like they could that. see that as was, like a capital crime if that's like gluttony. It wasn't about that. Like the Spartans were like they were pretty much the best fucking humanity could be. Like they were fucking top <laughs> you know soldiers. Like you know they they were essentially just all about being like. The best. They're alpha you know, chads. They're, they're they're yeah, chads. yeah, pretty much. And like anyone that really didn't fit the mold in that, like you know, that regard or that image would be like you know, chaos aside. I think that's what it was more about, right? Rather than just like you know, religious belief. It was more about like the public image of Sparta being you know this major powerhouse, essentially. Yeah. Hmm. Very big thing of the Spartan twos. Very good name. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine just being like a random covenant guy, like hearing hearing all those stories about Spartan twos, the demons destroying the covenant, and then suddenly <laughs> the guy that message just pops out of nowhere and just looks at you like it's like he's up? Lucifer himself. He's just like here I am. <laughs> it's like level one hundred boss and your level one grunt. <laughs> <laughs> just saying that. I just don't I understand. don't remember all the like the halos like comic books. I mean not uh, the books, you know. But I remember like reading like a story about like some Spartan threes being unleashed on like some covenant forces and they fucking like tore them apart <laughs> like they didn't have power armor or anything like that but it just like went <laughs> went hand-to-hand combat with the elite, pretty much like, what fucking covenant forces. Were trained for they were just trained for suicide missions so they just didn't yeah. care about injuries or anything they got shot they just carried on going like this guy yeah, was, um, yeah it was the same like it ties into like the whole like you know spartan things as well like the ancient spartans they were like from a young age, they were like beaten and taught to ignore pain to an extreme Golly. degrees. Where like you know, if they lose like their fucking like, if they get like a deep like gash in their leg, they would they would keep fighting. You know, that, that it didn't matter to them. So it kind of like ties in with like you know the Halo Spartans as well. You know the way the Spartan Freeze act when they cu- fucking get the, like their arms blown up. They're like, okay, I'm just gonna keep fighting. Which you know, uh... wait, so Master Chief's a Spartan too, right? He's a Spartan yeah. too. Yeah. So then, who's the Spartan threes? Uh, uh, Spartan Freeze on Noble Team. Reach. Yeah, yeah, basically. Oh, noble God. Team. And a bunch of other ones as well, <laughs> you know. They're essentially like the broken Spartans, I guess you could say. Like, um, on Halo Reach, the amount of Spartan Freeze that they had was like 200 or something like that, like around that. And pretty much all of yeah. them died. Wow. During the Glassing of Reach. All of them decided to stay behind and um, just fight. Unless you're June and planet. you're like, peace out, homie. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> He actually had brain power though. Like, if you know, remember, <laughs> remember, like how Noble Six just stayed behind us, you know, continued fighting, even though he most likely could have gotten off the planet. Yeah. If you actually used his head, you know. Well, it's because they're that's because like, they're trained to just like do the task at hand. Yeah. Like all of them. Yeah, really. they were like they were so like you know brainwashed, essentially just do whatever the fuck your bidding was. <laughs> so like. <laughs> and Carter too. Carter's like, let's peace out, homie. Like he just yeah dies. yeah like you know he just fucking kamikazes himself into the freaking <laughs> scarab. Yes, like he did it for the mission. Like. Like a greater good in the end, but like, and George no, like, too as well. Like George sacrificed. Yeah. Like, oh, George was a Spartan too. And oh like, yeah, he you was. Know, You're was right like, about that. It was a little odd for him to do that. Um, you know, what the heck's the dog barking in the back? Oh, sorry, you would. You would, <laughs> <laughs> like, you would think dog. like um, you would think like you know in terms of like military value that 
Noble Six would stay behind and light the bomb instead of Georgia, because Georgia is much more valuable in in actuality than fucking Noble Six is. Because he's just part two. Well, like he's a much better like product. In George fact. is like, I'm an old man. But it's honor. You know, it's honor. He's like, I'm an it's old honor. man. That's... Like this younger Spartan. You know, it's kind of like age before anything else. I think it's like a Spartan 2. A Spartan 2 can apparently be combat efficient up to 80 years old. So like God, he was nowhere man. near like, I nowhere near his like, you know, limit essentially. Like so. I knew a lot of Halo trivia, but I did not know that one. To <laughs> 80 years old, you know, Jesus Christ. Yeah, like it's. Fucking insane. That's what I imagine. Speaking of like the, the <laughs> shit, I was... there's like an anime when you see like an old guy like <laughs> about to die like on his deathbed, but he's still able to just destroy everyone in his path, kind of thing. That's what yeah, yeah. Is. Like he takes his helmet off, he's like gray hair and everything, gray beard, but the guy still has like muscles ten times bigger than yours. Like, what the fuck's going on here, man? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is this? <laughs> fucking Jack, dude? <laughs> What's well, like at the end of Halo Four when um. You know, spoiler: Cortana dies. It's like it's like so, yeah. it's like it's like such an old game at this point. It's almost ten years mm-hmm. old. But you know, when Lasky goes out in the deck and he's and she's like, you know, a soldier's got to do what it takes to complete the mission, no matter the like the soldier like a soldier has to protect humanity, no matter the cost. Yeah. And Lasky's yeah. like, "What do you mean? Like, we're we're people too." And then she's yeah, like, like he's saying like you you you're talking like yeah, soldiers and humanity are two separate things. things. Like yeah. And like, it's so like, dude, I get chills when I, like, I, know. I watch that cutscene. And it's like, and then she's like, she told me that once that I was a machine. It's just like, yeah. oh my god. Oh, tears, of man. Lasky, this is what real men cry. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that live action um, forward onto Dawn film. I never watched it. Yeah, yeah. It was so awesome. Yeah, and they're pretty... making a new one now. Well, not really much a film, good. but a series that they plan to release in 2022. Yeah, the Halo TV a new show. Halo series. <clears throat> Yeah, that was like in the works for years, but like only now have they said that it's actually gonna hopefully be released in next year. Well, they yeah, said it's really produced by Showtime and then published by Paramount. So Showtime mm. makes some good shows. There's a lot of shows I enjoy from Showtime, so I've got high hopes. Well, not because my apparently it's non canon though, so it's not gonna like be any like. Which really is, relevant. I mean, that's fine though. I mean, like all this stuff is yeah. canon. I mean, Fortnite and Dawn, I've seen it, but I've heard it's good. But like Nightfall, I was like. Not impressed with, really. I don't know. I enjoyed Nightfall for what it was. Like you know, I I liked it, but like it, you know, like again, like as you say, like it wasn't the best, like you know, thing. But it was still enjoyable. You know, still like. I wish they would do kind of like um. I feel like the perfect, you know, like Rogue One, where it's like they just pick like a sliver of like yeah lore and just like expand it. I wish they'd do that for like Halo. Like just take, just like a small like it's kind of like what ODST does, where it's like this kind of this thing that can exist. Like it, it's hard to make ODST like not canon just because it's so general and so broad. Yeah. Like that's what they just need I to do. I forgot which forgot which um book it was, which novel. Um there was a Spartan called Naomi. She was part of Killer Squad and she worked for um Oni. Uh there's there's like a bunch of different cool, awesome stories about a squad. She, um, she was basically a Spartan too, and she was the first person, the first Spartan to wear this um, Mark Seven armor. Um, because Oni it's produced, from, of is, course, and is that from the uh, the uh, one of the Halo series. novels? Yeah, Killer Five series. Yeah, yeah, yeah Killer Five. I, for, I forgot what the name of the book was. Halo. Uh, you got what is it? You got uh, Killer the One. Killer <laughs> then you got Mortal Detector. And then you got another one. I don't forget what the third one is called. The First yeah, Day War. Got... That's the one. Yeah, the First Day War. First... Yeah. Yeah. Awesome book, by the way. If any of you have not read it, I've never read a single it's Halo book. Amazing. So, oh, you're missing out, dude. Like, they're not <laughs> the most amazing you've written books, but you you really get into it. Like when the you first, actually the reading. first day war is essentially about uh, how um, the first mission that the Infinity basically went on to. Uh-huh. Uh, there's like a uh, there's a civil war going on at the uh, Singhali homeworld. Uh, the Arbiter is losing. The Infinity shows up, shows off her fucking like awesome firepower. You know, it's like trampled before, it's just like, you know, whatever. We're the big guys now and stuff like that. That's basically um, what that, that book is about, you know, and it was really cool. That remi- <laughs> we'll go back to yeah, that. It like, just, um, just reminds me of, hold on, like, we used to have a president. Yeah. Like, I forget what president it was. I think it was, like, um, what was the fat one? Theodore Roosevelt. <laughs> he had a policy yeah. where it was the big stick. And he would basically just yep. roll up to countries with, like, all the warships and be like, what's up? <laughs> and, like, just and then, yeah. and do, like... 
they would when they would do negotiations they would park like the navy in the in the ports you know and just like flex on it them. is a um yeah it's um <laughs> it is a valid strategy of like intimidation and being like you know we are here to dominate you basically <laughs> that's what the infinity kind of reminded me of. it's just like what's up <laughs> like we're just here to chill you know <laughs> No pressure. There's also another piece of trivia from another book called Mortal Dic Dictator, also yeah. about the killer squad. Um, there's like this scene where Naomi, the Spartan 2, is put onto like a planet where there's like a basically like a planet where all the refugees from different alien groups come together to just do trading and all of that. So like you have jackals over there, you have brutes, but not only about killing each other, like humans as well. Like they're all, it's like a community in a way where they all like do trading and stuff, trade weapons and whatnot from the war yeah it's like a pirate um, war uh, it's like a pirate port essentially pretty much and yeah. naomi like takes off her armor and she's just like in a human form without the armor just walking around and basically a bodyguard for the killer squad and i thought that was like a pretty cool environment and like she's still like in her um the mindset of being a spartan too so like whenever someone like does something she like pulls a pistol like real quick and she's she's a beefy woman she's like seven feet or something like that and basically the tallest person over there. And I thought that was yeah. a really cool concept where like you have a Spartan too out of the armor, but they're still like they can still fuck you up so hard that even without any equipment kind of thing. So Yeah, because they are literally like the best humanity has ever produced. They are like, you know, like next evolution kind of thing, you know. Mm, so you're just it's reading crazy. through the section, you're just reading through and you just realize how like you just respect the Spartans even more after reading all of that. How much yeah. How much they can you do learn, um, there's also like in the books you also it also covers the story about Jill Madama Yeti. Oh and how like uh his um essentially why he dislikes humanity so much as he does. Um basically like I know he gets Oni, kidnapped. Like, poisoned their like Saint Helios and stuff like Yeah, yeah, yeah. They only like only were like cultivating some like plants that would like poison the population of Saint Helios and they were testing it out on him first like oh like he was one of the first like test subjects because he got like captured by uh uh Naomi, uh this part two that uh emerald was talking about here we go so yeah there's a lot of like tie-ins there that's what sucks about Think. like the killing like killing uh jewel at the beginning of halo 5 it's like it's such a, like a wasted. Like, I know, like is even yeah, because like, like even... he got noble smashed to bits. You know, it was <laughs> it fucking hilarious like what had happened, but like it could you have know... at least been a boss battle. Like they were just I a know, cut scene of him dying. I wish like I wish there would have been like you know a confrontation between him and uh, the arbiter. Like the arbiter would have been the one to end it. I'm thinking that there would have been more suiting than lock just you know sliding in and just like, like yeet. <laughs> just yeah, like noble smashing him yeet. to bits. Like it didn't really. Well, because they really the regardless of like the books, like they build them up really well in Spartan Ops. And yeah, it's like just such a waste. Such a waste. Yeah. I I don't, I don't know. Maybe they didn't know where to take the characters, so they just decided to like just. Well, them, you, know? you know the writer for it. I mean, I, you probably know actually. But like he was a comic book writer, and okay. comic books they just kill people. They're just like you're dead. Like they just don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that's just yeah. the style of writing. So it's like a death from Game of Thrones. Like oh, I love this character. Boom, dead. Because I've read plenty of comics from like what the crap. That character is just dead. <laughs> like they just kill. Him. <laughs> like I don't mind. Like I don't mind them like killing off a character like that. But I feel like you know, doing it so like casually wasn't the way to do with a character like that. You know. I don't know, like, have you watched uh, Game of Thrones? Two. Yeti? Nah. Okay. Whatever. Let's take Jamie <laughs> Lannister, right? He's, like, a really big character. Imagine him just, like, fucking, like, falling down a cliffside <laughs> and breaking his neck. Like, how bad would that be? Like, yeah. <laughs> no. It's not I the don't way, think man. Game of Thrones, it's like, <laughs> you, any character can be considered the main character. And, like, yeah. But he's, like, you, a really, like... <laughs> and you like, still want them by. Yeah. Jon Snow just falls off his horse and gets trampled to death. Yeah, yeah, like, like Jon Snow getting like fucking like I don't know mugged in the fucking like alleyway, like it dies. Like what the fuck? I think in writing, there's like a good balance between because you want to make a story that sometimes it's okay to take like risks. Like you want to have a story that's interesting, engaging, but like you also have to balance it between like cheating your audience. Like you don't want to just like, yeah because I think there's like a movie like um like well not just oh, what movie. Or just plenty of stuff where, like, a character, you're like, holy crap, they died. And, like, it, it doesn't make you, like, upset that they died. So it's, like, striking that balance. No, because, like, they actually, like, built it up in a good way to make him, like, you know, 
make the death, I guess, good in a sense, you know? Like, it wasn't just like, okay, you're done, you know? Well, like, I... it was like, he had, a, he had a beginning, middle, and end, essentially. Like, the character was finished. Well, sometimes they, they don't, though, because, like, in 1917, which you don't really know the character super well in 1917, so this might be just how it, it works better. Um, yeah. But, like, it's two guys that got to deliver a message across this big battlefield. That's the basic premise of the movie. And it starts with this one guy who's like, oh, my brother's at this battalion. So I got to go deliver this message. And you think he's the main character. Well, they're at this little town. This plane crashes. They go to rescue this German uh, pilot. And then the pilot stabs him. So then the guy that was helping him becomes the new main character. And, like, that didn't, like, upset me because it's, like, I don't know. It just felt like that was a good, like, unexpected like death. first episode, then. I mean, it would be a bit more sad if they died, like, in the beginning of season two after you fully grown to those characters and then he gets stabbed like oh well this this, this isn't a show it's a movie so like he dies yeah, like, i feel like it's because you haven't movie. like it's probably because i don't know it's like those i guess it was the character didn't really have like a beginning you know a middle he was essentially just there like he was only like you know essentially he's kind of there you know well they're like, both you know this is their kinda... type of characters though like both the characters yeah. of that movie are just kind of like it's kind of hard to explain non... you know, i guess but i'm trying to think of other like shows where or movies Joe from The Last of Us too. Well, there's like died um, at the beginning. Well, I don't. <laughs> I haven't played I haven't a game. Played so. it. It's a good game. What shall I play? Like where it? it's I'll a deserved. Because that I I don't yeah. believe every character needs to have like some epic death. No, no, no. You know? Like n not, not like that. But like when you have a major character like Jubal, who has like been a major part of the un Halo universe for like the last couple of years you expect them to do a little bit more oh, than yeah. just getting fucking no, 100 assassinated by this asshole like mandalorian dying in the nowhere. beginning of season two for example <laughs> yeah. yeah wait i haven't seen the series what <laughs> no 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 it's not no, it doesn't die oh, I was like, <laughs> huh? me making stuff up as an example don't worry uh, yeah. okay. i was like holy <laughs> crap i was like i don't think he dies i know he says goodbye to yoda but anyway yeah goodbye yoda take care Little guy. Why can't God I? Damn it, baby. I, I the only other example is like there's a movie Children of Men, which if you haven't seen that movie mm -hmm. is really good. But like there's a car, there's a scene where they're like trying to get through this, they're trying to get to this checkpoint, and like these random, like you don't expect people to die on this part. Like it's just they're in a yeah. jeep ride, and then out of the nowhere, like someone just like just gets shot in the face, and you're like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> but like that doesn't feel like cheap. It's like a it's like a fair death, I guess, because it's like oh stuff yeah. happens. I guess it's like if you set up the world to have unexpected deaths, it seems fair. Whereas in Halo, it's not really like a universe to have unexpected deaths. So I guess that's kind of the criteria, because like it's World War One, like nineteen seventeen. So it's like you're kind yeah. of expecting people to die. So maybe that's what it is. Yeah, Adam. yeah. The thing like... with the Halo game, we didn't really get any character development for other characters other than Master Chief, to be honest. Like, there's some characters, yeah, like um, Cortana. Well, Halsey, and Halsey. Yeah. yeah, but when you really think about it, there really aren't that many characters that have been developed for a game that has, like, six, seven games to look at, too. Well, okay. no, they're, yeah, they're, like, they're well-rounded characters, like, but they're not, like, you know, they're not really doing the anything only, with like, them, you know? Cortana, yeah, like, like, got really fleshed out in Halo 4. Yeah, Cortana's been fleshed out. Because, like, I, that's the thing, too, is, like, Cortana doesn't do anything, really, in Halo 1 and 2. Like, I don't really think she's... No. She's kind of just there as, like, a, as a device to, like, to help you or whatever. Um, whereas in Halo 3, it's she's a bit your, more... Uh, she's your interactive compass, basically. Yeah, and <laughs> then, like... Ghost from Destiny. Then in Halo 3, it's yeah. a bit more, right? With, like, the weird Vietnam flashbacks. But then Halo yeah. 4 is like, whoa. I mean, I I promise you, you know, that is kind of funny, the criticism of Master Chief being like, I hate how he's like talkative now and he wasn't a machine, but it's like, that's what they did to Cortana. Just because he's a sexy lady and like has a face. That's why it's different. Like, <laughs> On Halo 4, they made a thick. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> she's Halo 5 and Halo Infinite, she's but no, like even thicker. Recent characters, though. Well, in Halo 5, she's not that thick. She looks like a mom in Halo 5. Like, they wear like a shirt and everything. <laughs> But, like, Lasky's got good development in uh, the recent years. Like, I would consider Lasky a pretty developed character because, like, he's in Spartan Ops, Halo yeah. 4, and, like, 5. He's practically not the second in command of Infinity at the end, was Yeah. And yes, what happened to him? Because what happened to Del oh, Rio? He is. 
Del Rio was the, was the captain halfway through. Um, I was saying what happened to Halo Four. I was saying what happened to Del, Del Rio though. Oh, he became Wasn't a politician. the guy that said, "Give me the cheap um, chip." Yeah, he he, uh, he got um, what was it? Because he abandoned Chief. He Lord Hood didn't look too kindly to that, as you can expect. And uh, he got demoted. And then uh, what was it? He what was it? The Del Rio left the military. Then he started becoming a politician. So he's Trump, kind of. He minus the yeah. military part. He's like. <laughs> and then he was like, he was trying to get Spartan twos, uh, basically like president or decommissioned or whatever uh, then some uh fucking like terrorist attack happens on his rally or whatever then chief and his team shows up and he takes care of the other terrorists and saves them oh, even though like he got him <laughs> yeah and like yeah, del rio tries to spin it like uh chief like shot some uh, civilians and they were it was starting to prove was that what like, the, the that, truth like, thing was yeah 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 it's all in the hunter truth which is awesome by the way i love the hunter truth but the... it sucks that it was like you know, fake uh, fake advertisement but yeah. you know whatever and really? like yeah, the, it, Del Rio tries to like spin it as like um that the Sheaf and the Spartans are like you know inaccurate and they're like you know not the uh, good anymore. Yeah. But like then you like rewatch the actual like you know CTV footage and you see that Sheaf is hitting all his shots, precision shots, like in <laughs> high speed like things, like he should because like you know he's a fucking he's a Spartan machine, too yeah. and they're. And they're fucking, you know, the best humanity has ever fucking created and all that. Yeah. Like, Actually, now that, I, now that I think... You're not that good. Now that I think one about it, me. probably <laughs> Arbiter's also, like, probably more developed because he actually has, like, talks and stuff. Like, Arbiter is yeah, pretty much Yeah, Arbiter equally... is well-developed. He is, um... He is so... He's such a good character. He's got like, a good arc. Like, even, like, in... Yeah. The whole, like, redemption arc he got, like, in Hill 2, where he, like, he was, like... He was a broken man, then he became like, you know, when the prophet's blade, then he realized like the prophet's lies, and you know, like he became what the arbiter actually was to Vincent Healy's like a leader, warrior, judge thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool things. Halo Lore has so much like going for itself, it's insane. And I hope, I hope we get to see more like, of it. A new major character that we get a lot of development for. Now we have eight Make goodbyes. Uh, Many goodbyes, many goodbyes, many goodbyes. <laughs> Fucking the killer would be creaming his pants. Like, really? <laughs> the only popular brute we have from Infinite right now is Craig. I'll miss <laughs> Craig. Craig. <laughs> Dude, they are, you know, they have like up to graphics so much, but well, there are gonna be like fucking Easter eggs of Craig's everywhere, you know that? Like, that fucking bad action brute, like. <laughs> Occasionally, just be the fucking that brute that looks ugly, and you're just like, I, uh, <laughs> I think it was the first mission from Halo 3 with the monkeys. Oh, yeah, the like, monkeys. like the family of monkeys. That was the OG Craig, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's what it was. You know what we're talking about, Noble? Where it's maybe. like the family, like, the yeah, no, thing. The, the, the Easter egg, yeah. Oh. What the fuck was that even about? Like, I, that, that was crazy. Yeah. What that it was. was. So weird. It always made the list of like <laughs> creepy Easter eggs because it was like human faces on like. Bigfoot or something. It was so bizarre. And like yeah. the first time I saw her, I didn't want to continue with the campaign. I was so disturbed by it. Like, <laughs> I was like disturbed. I was Unstall. just like, I just like, you know, I was just like, okay, that's you know, cool enough. But like, I was just like, what was that? Like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> <don't> <laughs> but there is no connection. It's just a bunch of monkeys. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's an Easter egg, so it's not. Support it doesn't have to have a connection to the game at all. But like, it was just like, what is this a reference to? Like, you know, that's like that's the thing I was most curious about. What is it a reference to? I guess you could you, maybe you could argue like that the, the development was like a monkey sue or whatever for Halo Free or something. Like I don't know, it was something you know, at least. There's probably just some dude. Who I was speaking of monkey Godzilla fun. versus King Kong next month, isn't it? Yeah, is it? I guess I don't, I don't keep up with that. I, I like don't even care about that movie. Yeah, like I don't keep uh, up with really that many yeah. movies now. Like. Because There's I'm not no gonna... movies are coming out. That's literally like the only. Because film I'm not gonna go see. Out. <laughs> like I keep trying to get indie movies because, like, you know that that could be me one day. You know, working on an indie set. But like, <laughs> I just like mainstream movies. I'm kind of like, eh, don't really care. Other than like, it's too much of a hipster. Well, maybe like James Bond. <laughs> Like that's the only one that I really care about, I suppose, because like that one's. Yeah, was, when is the uh, one with the female James Bond coming out? Like, do, do we have any like dates? They on haven't that announced or... it. They still gonna come out with the No Time to Die, like the date, the last date of the big one. Hmm. Oh, goddamn it! <laughs> what? I was gonna say something, but like, 
It's too edgy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I just... Everything got so delayed. Oh, what was the other game that's coming Quavo. out? Um, Outriders? Oh, yeah. Quavo's played that, and he said... I wish he was here now to like explain it, but yeah. he wasn't too impressed by it. Apparently. That's all gameplay of it, and it's like a class system where you have four different characters. Each one has like specific. It's abilities like Destiny and... slash Division. It's kind of kind it's of the same thing. Yeah, I also like. I remember asking him on Twitter and being like, "Yo, was this like a?" It's like a combination. And he was like, "Uh, yeah." I was like, "For fuck's sake, man!" Mm-hmm. <laughs> God, that combination like... of Division and Destiny. If I were to put two games together to describe it, because oh, like a, there's oh. a cover system where you go behind cover and you can shoot over the cover, kind of thing, kind of like Gears of War. So it's like Division. Way, but... <laughs> it's like pretty much yeah, the Division. But... Yeah, I'm not. Gears of War did it first. And I'm sure other games did it before Gears of War, but you I'm know. not a big fan of like cover based games. I prefer like free flowing, where like you're more just going with the flow instead of being like fucking locked in a one position. It depends on the game. Time. I mean, like, I think it works better for others. Like for GTA or Red Dead, I mean, like, especially Red Dead, it's like that's just like the Wild West for you. It's like literally just like hiding behind cover. Yeah, for but 10 you don't years. have. You don't have you don't have to like sit in the cover. You can oh, like, I know. jump out and use your dead eye. I'm just and, saying like, it makes sense for that game like to have maniac. like a cover system because it's like that. Yeah, yeah. But like if you're gonna build like the entire game on like a cover system, I feel like that's just so like it's just so you know boring. For gears though, slow, it really you know? works. It's for some uh, reason. I'm really I'm, probably because I've never really been a big fan of gears is why I don't really like it that much, you know. For someone who played gears on a regular basis, that cover system was extremely fun. Because in Gears of War, at least, um, the weapons didn't have that much range, so it's not like you can shoot from the cover and like, no, they no, got to someone. Close. If you're on the other side of the map and someone was behind cover, you could literally just rush them with a shotgun, and the guy, like, yeah. they would try to shoot you, but you had enough cover in between to get close to them. Like, there was no scenario where the guy in the cover could shoot you across the map and get away from it. Like, all was, I all I really like know that. about like Gears of War are there are chainsaws. Masculine Something about men. like some fucking masculine, masculine men with no Dude. necks. <laughs> the it's, just a, it's just one giant muscle <laughs> keeping their head up. The simple um, mechanic of the chainsaw battles was the coolest thing in Gears of War. Like where the way they sprint is like the most together. ridiculous thing. <laughs> it's crab walking, Cheers, crab Ninja running. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> Pretty much. The chainsaws, like the chainsaw battles. <sighs> yeah, that that thing was awesome. Gears of War had its like own um, thing to it. It was a different yeah. feeling of a game. Wasn't there like a sword know, as well you could use? Like a sword gun or something like that? There's the Lancer. Sword gun? Yeah, there's the Lancer. Oh. Yeah, Lance gun. Okay, cool. Yeah, it was like a bayonet thing as well. Oh, wait, well, yeah. speaking of that, the Outrider game, um, <laughs> it makes sense kind of why it's cover-based because the people that made it made um, Gears of War Judgment. So, I mean, they kind of have like that in their brains already. I suppose. I can't even know. Uh, I forgot yeah. Gears of War Judgment was Maybe. a thing. That game. Gears like, of War Judgment wasn't even like day. bad. Like it just kind of, it just wasn't like exciting enough to like. That's kind of the problem mm. with Gears of War is like they have such a formula. It's like, how do you? They tried to force diversify. a class system onto it, which I really didn't like. It was that's not what Gears of War is about. It's never been about a class system. Where you have like your support, your tank, or whatever. That that thing just doesn't fly, and it was an experiment, and it didn't work, and the game died. Very quickly, I played the beta of it. I remember, and yeah, just I wasn't played really fun. Um, Judgment back on the 360, and I can't remember anything of it. Like, I remember it was like pretty average. I was kind of like, it's Gears of War, you yeah. know, like that's. I think that's why I played. It. Like, I thought it was just average. Like it was okay. Like I just remember using that semi automatic sniper rifle as a sniper class. That's the only thing I can remember from it. And it was oh. like a thing where you had um, it was a kind of like mini invasion where you pushed objectives, and you yeah. tried to. Um, destroy the core, I guess you could say. <laughs> it was literally just you plant a bomb at the end. Yeah, we could can still destroy the enemy core. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Palmer. <laughs> hope she shows up in the fucking... I hope they bring her... I hope they actually like give her a personality again. Because in like, yeah. Halo 4, she has kind of a personality, and then the Halo 5, they're like, we must wash you. <laughs> it's like everyone at the... that was on board of Infinity at the end of Halo 5 is pretty much going to make an appearance in Infinite. I mean, where where else are those people gonna go? Like they're they're on Earth or wherever the hell uh, is. I mean, not Earth, but you know. Every between games, like there's always so much difference of characters. I mean, there's no guarantee of anything. I don't think. I feel like that's too. I mean, like if Halo Five, I mean they just brought characters out of nowhere. So who's to say that they can just get rid of characters out of nowhere? 
So I mean, it's yeah, because we saw Infinity in crashed air. on the Halo ring itself. So I don't know where else these people would have went unless every single person. Well, I knew Infinity was running away because eventually. Cortana was trying to find him. Like she, Cortana was trying to hack it. Yeah, she was like hack into her system and take over the infinity you know, that would be pretty, pretty because the bad. infinity uses like 400 tech and then they have roland so it's like yeah. um you know they're just running away so i don't maybe they won't be in it because they're just like peace we gotta dodge the bullets here nah they're most likely gonna um they're gonna show up at one point or another i, I mean, do have gonna, the other ai that was in board of infinity he gets a little bit of development i really like that ai yeah Roland. roland's awesome yeah hmm Oh, what was the other AI from Halo Wars 2? Isabel, I think? Uh, Isabel. Yeah, pixie cut chick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I hope she's pretty cute, hit. though. I, who's who's I hotter, hated, Cortana um, or, <laughs> or her? Cortana, definitely. Oh, well, come on. I hated... Um, one thing I hated about fucking... What was it? Isabella. What's the way she was, like, talking about Atriox when he first showed up? He's like, the Covenant couldn't even touch him at the height of their power. It's like... Well, it was because Atriox was fucking hiding from them. That's why. <laughs> like, this, she made them like Atriox seem like it was like untouchable. Like, like, but it was actually just like a fucking like hit and run. It was using like gorilla attack warfare tactics and stuff like. I that. mean, he is a gorilla. Call, uh, gorilla call thing. Thing. <laughs> I mean, yeah. brutes are like bear gorillas. So. Yeah. Oh. that's. I get a feeling Atriox will fight Master Chief. He'd be like the final boss. <laughs> Nah. I, don't he, I don't think he's gonna maybe like, not the be... final boss but like he'll he'll be there uh, I don't know. apparently uh apparently infinite's gonna span over like fucking 10 years like into the, the story and stuff like that so if they do like an update at the story. beginning of halo 5 i just heard it was where they have like an update every three months a free update that is because i'm not paying for dlcs nah <laughs> way past that <laughs> Ooh. because halo 5 would have lasted a long a lot longer if they just carried on giving those updates to everyone they were really, really nice. Like, um, I think it was the Reach update in Halo 5. Yeah. That was really awesome. Getting all those helmets, all those features, and then the monster's bounty has to remember that. Getting new canvases to forge. The San Heli pieces. A bunch of new cool maps came out of it. If Halo Infinite gets the same kind of treatment as that, I mean, I'm sure it will, then it's going to be in for a wrong ride. I can't imagine it lasting for 10 years. I mean, a lot of games are going to come out over 10 years. Yeah, they always, companies always <laughs> overhype it. Like, I hope it does, but, I mean... Like, they said Destiny 1 is going to be a 10-year game. Right. Whereas Destiny 1 now, left in the dust is what it is. Yeah. Destiny yeah. 2 is barely they still alive. They always overstate and... it, because, you know, stuff happens, and it's just markets change. It is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> that's, like, the it only thing... that's. That's like the only thing I've like looked forward to in the future. <laughs> I'm like Halo. I'm just like, please, <laughs> please be good. Please don't. Oh, I mean, I'm. My I don't even care if it's bad. I just want new Halo. Like, I just don't even care. Yeah. Just need something It'll fresh. Be it will be very good. All right. Well, that's all the time we got today, fellers. Thank you for joining me. All right. Um, and we'll see y'all next week. Goodbye, ah! viewers. Ah, Hell yeah.